Whenever I see this top or wear this top, I just think of Taurus energy. Hola my beautiful lotus flowers, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're into nerdy now on everything astrology, spirituality, and self transformation, this is the community for you. Today we're talking all about having Mars in Taurus. This is not the same as the Taurus sun sign. That is completely different. This means that Mars was moving through the constellation of Taurus at the time that you were born. We're going to start the video by talking about the general traits of somebody who has this placement and we'll finish off the video with a couple empowering tips because I do not like to just leave you with the information and no guidance. I like to try and give you guys a little bit of guidance in case you need it. And if you're not familiar with the energy of Mars and astrology, there will be a section at the beginning of this video introducing Mars to you. So be sure you watch that if you're not sure about the energy surrounding Mars and astrology. First, let's briefly discuss what Mars means in astrology. First off, Mars is the planet of our quote unquote animalistic instincts action, ambition, desire, and passion. It rules over the zodiac sign Aries, but it's also the co-ruler and traditional ruler of Scorpio before Pluto came into the picture. The Mars placement in our birth chart can give us insight on how we physically take action in the world, what ignites our inner fire, and how we tame or transmute that fire into reality. Whereas Venus is about what we are attracted to in the physical realm, Mars is more so how we actually act on, pursue, and express those desires. It is the primary conductor of our innermost passions, and it gives us a direct pathway on how we assert ourselves in the world. Remember to check if Mars was retrograde at the time that you were born because this also affects how its placement manifests in your life. When you pull up your natal chart, check to see if your Mars has a little R or RX next to it. This indicates that that planet was retrograde at the time of your birth. Now for the general traits of somebody who has Mars in Taurus. First, it's important to remember that Taurus is the fixed Earth sign ruled by Venus symbolized by the bull. Number one. Most of their ambition will stem from a desire for security and material pleasures. Venus is the planet of material possessions, money, and romance, making these prominent themes in the life of a Taurus. So with Mars and Taurus, this individual's passions will often fall in line with their idea of luxury, what living a luxurious, comfortable life may look like for them. It's also because of this trait that Mars and Taurus energy can tend to clash. This can kind of be a little bit of a paradoxical placement for Mars because <laughs> Mars is such an energetic, active, quick moving planet and then you have Taurus which is generally considered a bit of a slower moving zodiac sign, a sign that is capable of aggressive movement when provoked or when feeling passionate enough, but that's the thing, is tapping into the passion. Taurus can tend to have the stereotype of being kind of a lazier sign while simultaneously being hardworking, which all of the earth signs are considered hardworking, like their goals really matter to them, and Taurus is no exception. However, with Taurus, there's much more of an emotional connection, if you will, a much more, a much more passion-oriented connection to what they want to do, what they want to contribute their valuable energy to. Taurus very much wants to indulge in the comforts of life, whatever that may look like to them, but you do have to put that initial work up front in order to be able to do that later on. And they are 100,000% willing to put in that work, but it has to be something they deem very worthy of their time. And this is in all aspects of life. So with Mars, we're really dealing with our ambition, the reason behind why we do things, and also how we tend to carry ourselves sexually. So with Mars and Taurus, it's, probably not typically going to be somebody who is very promiscuous. Um, they may be, and that's great because Taurus is a very sensual sign connected to the physical senses, connected to the sensual part of ourselves, very much so. But they need somebody to be worthy of their time. They need their pursuits 
in every aspect, romantic, career, etc., to be worthy of their time. And a lot of times they also are okay with moving slower. They don't tend to feel the need for this instant gratification, if you will. They really have to feel very strongly for something and feel that raw passion towards something to put in the work to obtain it. Number two. Once they set their mind to something, they are fixated on seeing it through and have plenty of patience to do so. Having the fixed modality means that there is often a stubbornness and a strong sense of focus in the zodiac signs that are fixed. So when we are speaking in terms of the planet of physical action, which is Mars, being in the fixed sign of Taurus, we have somebody who sets out to finish what they start, especially since they don't just start new things to start new things. They are very selective about the pursuits they commit to, as I mentioned in the previous point. This trait is also what can lead a Mars and Taurus person to kind of be in their own world, if you will, because once they finally decide on something that they want to commit to, they tend to go all in and they completely indulge in that passion. If something or someone has not met their standards of what they think is worth their time, then they have no issue not wasting it, just cutting whatever that is off and completely diving into their own little world of whatever it is that they're actually passionate about. If a matter seems quite frivolous to them, then they will discard of it easily most of the time. This trait also, of course, since we're talking about Mars, this trait also plays out in their romantic slash sex life. Uh, it's likely that if you are involved with a Mars and Taurus person, with the exception of other placements in the birth chart, obviously, but most likely if you're involved sexually and or romantically with somebody with this placement, it's highly likely that they are only committed to you because you have actually met their standards <laughs> and they have actually deemed you worthy. So most likely they're not running around entertaining other things because they just don't want to waste the energy on doing so. <laughs> Number three, much of their physical output will be towards building something stable with the long-term picture in mind. The earth element is considered the more grounded, stable element in astrology. Combining this with the fixed modality of Taurus, Mars in this placement is highly concerned with long-term security. And the reason that security really comes into play is not just because Taurus is an earth sign, but also because Taurus is so connected to financial fortune and material pursuits, essentially. So Taurus very much, once again, wants to indulge in a comfortable way of life to them. They want their home to be comfortable. They want to feel content with their life. Um, some Taurus energy may want to indulge in the luxuries of life as well. However, they see whatever they see as luxurious, whether it's luxurious food, having all the food they want, having all the nice electronics, etc., whatever it might be, um, Taurus definitely gives us this energy because of the presence of Venus as well. Venus is very connected to physical pleasures and physical aesthetic. Majority of the things that they do are not going to be part of their lives if they don't see a sense of security or stability in it, if they don't see the foundation for something that they plan to build in the long run. If you like this video so far, if you resonate with any of it, leave a comment down below or let me know if you have Mars and Taurus or if you know somebody who does. I love knowing why you're watching this video. It's very interesting to me. And be sure that you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos just like this one. Number four, although they're often quite patient, they're also an unimaginable force to be reckoned with once provoked. When you imagine a bull, there are two completely opposite images that can come to mind. The lazy, peaceful, grazing bull and the riotous, angry, aggravated bull. And the switch is very quick and making it almost unpredictable. If a Taurus tends to wear their heart on their sleeve or if they just don't really know how to control their emotions, then it's likely that you've seen this volatility if you personally know a Taurus. So with the placement Mars in Taurus, uh, this person will often appear as the peaceful version of the bull, but there is a fire underneath that you do not want to light. <laughs> and for Mars, the fiery, aggressive planet being placed in Taurus, a sign that has the power to be one of the most insanely aggressive signs if provoked. It can be 
even more volatile and explosive than somebody who is actually a Taurus sun sign. If you have if you have a Taurus Mars sign, then that explosive anger and that temperament is directly connected to the physical planet. Mars is the physical planet connected to our raw human desires and our raw human tendencies. So if you don't have really a control on that energy or you maybe have not developed your Mars energy and you don't know how to contain it, then someone who is provoked that has Mars and Taurus may even lash out very violently um, or depending on their other placements, they may use their words. There may be, they may cut you with their words and be very vocal. But Taurus, again, is very physical. Mars is also very physical. So this is the type of person that may punch a wall when they get angry and it will be out of nowhere. Like I said, most of the time, this person will have quite a peaceful demeanor and will be even charismatic. Uh, because of the Venusian energy that rules over Taurus, a Taurus energy is often charismatic and people tend to gravitate towards it. Not to mention some Tauruses have a undeniable charisma to them because of their sensuality. They give off a very sensual vibe. A lot of times people with Mars and Taurus will give off these peaceful, charismatic, easygoing vibes. Probably one of the easiest and most common ways to provoke this sign is by being way too pushy with them or unnecessarily authoritative. They do not like to be bossed around and told what to do and pushed when they're a sign that once again likes to move slower, really likes to move at their own pace. They hate being pushed by others. On top of that, because this placement really values stability and long-term things, if they're living in a way that feels consistently unstable, they may grow increasingly frustrated internally and might be more prone to provocation or to conflict or may be more prone to explosive moments of anger. Now for a couple empowering tips for somebody who has Mars and Taurus or if you know somebody who does. Number one, productivity is great, but remembering to live from a place of passion is equally as important. Although Venus's presence inclines Taurus towards artistry and creativity in some way, there can sometimes be a loss of this artistic connection if they are overly focused on financial security, stability, and falling into a monotonous routine for the sake of comfort. But many with this placement may have a strong natural drive to create something aesthetically pleasing in their lives to satisfy their creative itch. It could be through things such as makeup artistry, painting, sculpting, a lot of things that are connected to the physical appearance or environment come to mind for this placement, especially things that use their hands and use their body to really create something. Like I personally know a Taurus, shout out to that Taurus, she is amazing, um, who does a lot of crafting like she does a lot of like woodwork like she actually makes things out of wood and crafts them and uses plants to add designs to the wooden creations and she paints them and it's like this whole thing and it's so beautiful and that's kind of what i envision as maybe it's not your passion if you have this placement to do that stuff but it very much might be a beneficial hobby for you, a very beneficial way of releasing emotions. This isn't limited to physical creativity, of course, that's just a suggestion. Essentially, the goal with this placement is to create a sense of fulfillment and abundance that comes from a place of passion for them. Number two, actively find healthy ways to de-stress and manage your underlying temperament. Again, it wouldn't be unusual for this placement to have dormant anger or frustration bubbling internally until it gets to the point of eruption. But if it gets to the point of eruption, it can very well leave nothing but destruction in its wake. Despite all the time they spent suppressing and suppressing in order to keep building what they're pursuing, all that suppression will eventually have nowhere else to go but outwards, especially because again, we're talking about a the physical planet with a very physical sign. The combination makes a lot of their actions go outwards. It's not very internal. Whereas if we were talking about maybe Mars and Pisces, uh, we're talking about a lot of things being very internalized. But with Mars and Taurus, 
there is a lot of physical activity needed. They're very connected to physicality and to being active in that way, expressing these desires and these emotions that arise within the Mars energy and expressing them outwards. Specific practices to manage this will obviously vary from person to person. Not every person that has Mars and Taurus is a carbon print of each other. You each have unique birth charts, therefore you will still have a unique way of expressing your energy even if you share the same placement. So just keep that in mind. But my suggestion is cultivating regular activities, rituals, or practices that allow you to unwind and release. These will be very important to keeping the nervous system regulated in the long term. And that's really the goal here is to be connected to your body because again, a physical planet, a physical sign. So be very connected to your body and your body's reactions. It's likely that with this placement, your body's having high reactions to your emotions. So if you're able to have regular practices that really help regulate your nervous system and teach you how to work with your nervous system and calm it, then that will be beneficial to you in the long run because you'll learn how to kind of control that, if you will, not suppress, but control and find healthier outlets for that temperament. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. If you have Mars and Taurus or know somebody who does, I love to know if you connected with this, if it reminded you of the person you know, whatever it is that's on your mind, leave it down below. Until I see you in the next video, thank you so, so much again for being here. Thank you for your patience with me as always, and I can't wait to see you next time. Watch these videos if you haven't already while you wait for me to release the next one. But until I see you next time, adios. Mm-hmm. <laughs>